So in this video, we're comparing the new Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition versus the Galaxy Tab A8. Both are pretty affordable tablets from Samsung, but which one is better? Well, the price for the Tab A8 starts at 230 bucks in the United States. The Tab S6 Lite starts at 349, but I've already seen this go on sale, even though it was just released for 2022. So pricing is gonna be closer than you would think on these two tablets. Some of the categories haven't really changed much compared to the previous Tab S6 Lite, but I'll still go through them just in case you missed that video. Now I've got a bit of a problem with the new Tab S6 Lite. Might be hard to tell in the video, but there's some screen bleed or light bleed down towards the bottom. So I returned to the first one I bought. Bad thing is the new one looks almost as bad. And I've got a feeling this could be a bad sign for people buying the new version of the Tab S6 Lite. Hopefully yours doesn't have that issue. As far as the screens go, you get a 10.5 inch on the new Galaxy Tab A8. 10.4 inch on the S6 Lite, 1080p resolution on both tablets. On the S6 Lite, you can go up to 2160p resolution when watching videos on YouTube. Only 1080p resolution on the Galaxy Tab A8. Screen brightness is gonna be about the same on both as well. The colors tend to be a little bit warmer on the S6 Lite, but overall screen quality looks really good on both. And when you put these next to each other, I don't feel like one looks a lot better than the other. They've got about the same viewing angles. It's really so close whether you're watching movies playing games just browsing online i don't think you can go wrong with either tablet considering these are more affordable tablets there's going to be very minor differences in the dimensions and weight of these two tablets the tab a8 is slightly taller and slightly wider than the tab s6 Lite. but when you put them next to each other you can see they're pretty much the same size tablet the tab a8 is slightly heavier than the s6 Lite. But again, it's so close, I don't think most people are even gonna notice. You got a 7,040 milliamp hour battery on both tablets, but a little bit different battery life in my testing. On the new Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, it actually got better battery life than the previous one. It lasted about seven and a half hours instead of six, and the Galaxy Tab A8 lasted seven hours in that same test. So pretty close comparison here. Keep in mind that's at full screen brightness, and you shouldn't have any problems getting through the whole day with normal usage even a couple days if you turn the screen brightness down obviously battery life is going to be pretty subjective depending on how you're going to be using the tablet so you can't really go wrong with either one but if you want the tablet with slightly better battery life you'll want to go with the s6 Lite, and then you get fast charging on both tablets as well performance is one area the s6 Lite has been upgraded to the snapdragon 720g processor instead of exynos the tab a8 has a unisoc t618 processor so slightly different processor and power but are still going to be somewhat similar in performance depending on which version you have There's there's going to be a 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage for the Galaxy Tab A8, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage for both tablets, and then you can go up to 128 gigabytes of both versions with 4 gigabytes of RAM as well. Good thing is you can use a micro SD card up to one terabyte on both tablets. So pretty good storage options on both. Geekbench scores are gonna be a little bit better on the S6 Lite though. And that's in single core, multi-core and compute scores as well. And yeah, you're gonna notice a difference just moving around the software. The Tab S6 Lite is gonna feel a little bit faster and it's just gonna load apps a little faster. You'll be able to do split screen multitasking just a little bit easier on the Tab S6 Lite over the Galaxy Tab A8. Not really a huge surprise here considering the S6 Lite is a newer tablet. Now when it comes to gaming, most games are going to load faster on the S6 Lite and you're going to get better quality for the graphics, but you are going to notice a huge difference between the two. In my opinion, most people are going to enjoy gaming on either, so you can't really go wrong with either. But yeah, the Tab S6 Lite is going to be the better option for gaming. Well, unless you want to play Asphalt 9, which again, both versions that I bought have issues with that game it won't even get past the startup screen for some reason now when it comes to software you're going to get a very similar experience the tab s6 Lite comes with android 12 the tab a8 comes with android 11 
and it'll probably be updated to Android 12 later this year. And even though I haven't seen official word from Samsung on software updates for the Tab S6 Lite, I'm gonna guess these are gonna be very similar, maybe slightly longer on the updates for the S6 Lite since it was just released. You also get Samsung DeX on the Tab S6 Lite, where unfortunately you don't get that on the A8. Another pretty big difference between the two is gonna be the S Pen. Even if you don't draw, take notes, or stuff like that, sometimes it's just nice to use the S Pen to navigate the tablet. I mean, if you're on a computer all day like me, it's just really nice to give your hand a break from swiping. But if you're into drawing, there's really only one choice between these two, and that's gonna be the Tab S6 Lite. The Tab S6 Lite came with Android 10, but has been updated to Android 11. And then the newer tablet is also on Android 11, but just keep in mind, you're gonna get longer updates with the newer Tab A8, and then you're only gonna get Samsung DeX on the S6 Lite. I mean, you can still connect a keyboard and mouse to either tablet, then you can use split screen to get stuff done a little bit better, to do some multitasking on each tablet, but I feel like you're gonna be more productive on the Tab S6 Lite because the S6 Lite is gonna be just a little bit closer to being more like a regular laptop. So that's just something to keep in mind when deciding between these two tablets. Nice thing is you get a headphone jack on both tablets as well, which is nice. You're definitely seeing less and less of that these days. And I imagine you're not gonna see those on the tablets in the near future. Now, when it comes to the speakers on these two, you get four speakers with Dolby Atmos on the Tab A8, only two speakers on the S6 Lite, but it has Dolby Atmos too, and is tuned by AKG. They both sound nice and loud. I feel like the quality of the sound may be a little better on the S6 Lite, but the Tab A8 is louder, and I think most people are gonna want that over the S6 Lite. But overall, both tablets sound really good, especially considering the price. Really, the good thing is, these two are some of the best tablets in this price range when it comes to speakers, so I think most people will be happy with either one. Then when it comes to cameras, the S6 Lite hasn't really changed from the previous version, at least from what I've seen. You got an eight megapixel rear facing camera on both tablets, a five megapixel front facing camera. I don't think either of these tablets are that good for photos, but if you're gonna be using this for Zoom meetings or video conferencing, I would probably go with the S6 Lite. They both sort of struggle in low light situations and the resolution could definitely be higher on both. Good thing is though, you get 1080p resolution for video on the front and rear facing cameras but overall I feel like the S6 Lite is a little bit better I'll let you decide which you think is better from these samples of photos and video <laughs> So as you can see, there's a couple things that might sway you one way or the other. Not a bad option to go with either, as long as you don't have the issues that I have on the S6 Lite. But I think it's obvious which one is the better tablet between these two, but it may come down to personal preference and what you're gonna be using these tablets for. I'll be doing a few more comparisons to the Tab S6 Lite, hopefully this and next week. So you'll definitely wanna look out for those.
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.